Okay, so in this video we're going to have a look at expanding sets of single brackets. Now you may just have one bracket on its own, or you may have two brackets put together like the question we're going to start with, but we will encompass all of that by having a look at two sets of single brackets throughout this video. So grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, make some notes, we're going to get started with this question. So that word expand means to multiply the bracket out by the number that's in front of it. And then that word simplify just means to collect all the like terms together. So we'll start by just looking at this first bracket to start with. So we need to multiply what's in the bracket by 3. So the first thing we're going to do is 3 times the 2x, and that becomes 6x. Then we're going to multiply the 5 by the 3 as well, and that's a plus 5, so that's going to be 3 times 5, which is plus 15. Then we move on to the next bracket, so forgetting about that one for the moment, and we're just going to expand this one over here. And we're expanding those, and we are going to be adding what's in there to the bracket before. So we're going to do 5 times x, so we're going to add 5x, so that's going to be plus 5x. And then we're going to do 5 times the minus 2, and 5 times minus 2 will become minus 10. And there we go, we've expanded both of those brackets. Now all we need to do is collect the like pieces together. So if we look at the x pieces to start with, we have a 6x and a 5x, and together they combine to make 11x. And then for the second pieces there, we have a plus 15, and we have a minus 10. And plus 15 minus 10 is plus 5, so that's just going to be 11x plus 5 as our final answer. Right, there we go, let's have a look at another one. Okay, so we'll expand and simplify this. Now we've got this minus 2 in the middle here, so we just need to be careful. But let's just treat it in exactly the same way. We'll times the first bracket by 3 to start with. So 3 times 2x gives us 6x. And 3 times negative 4 gives us negative 12. Now let's have a look at that second bracket. So we have a negative 2 at the start here, so we're just going to have to remember to times by negative 2. So negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 times positive 5 gives us negative 10. Okay, so the symbol's not just getting copied there, it is getting affected by that negative 2 at the start. So be very, very careful with this negative 10 here uh, when you're doing these. Right, so collecting it all together, we've got 6x, take away the 2x, and that leaves us with 4x's. And we've got negative 12 and a negative 10 here, and negative 12, take away 10, is negative 22. And there's that expanded and simplified. Let's have a look at one more before we have a go. Okay, so this one here, we've got it a little bit jumbled up, it's a little bit different to the last few, but let's just follow the exact same process and see what we get. So first bracket, 4 times the x gives us 4x, and 4 times the negative 3 gives us negative 12. Now moving on to the next bracket, but again, just being careful because we've got a negative 2 at the start. So this time it's negative 2 times the number first this time, so negative 2 times 1 is, ne is totally negative 2, so take away 2. And then we've got negative 2 multiplied by negative x, so the negatives become, are going to become positives because we've got a negative multiplied by another negative, so we've definitely got positive. And that's 2 times the x, so plus 2x. Negative 2 times negative x is positive 2x. And again, just tidying this up just like before, so 4x and the, the, the other x is at the end this time, so 4x plus 2x is 6x. And negative 12, take away 2, is negative 14, so 6x minus 14. Again, just be very, very careful with whether the number is negative or not. Obviously, this was a negative 2. Particularly careful when you times it by this negative x there to make sure you get your symbols right. So here's some for you to have a go at. So pause the video there, have a go at these four, and we'll go over the answers in a sec. Okay, so let's have a look. So expanding the first one, we get 3x plus 12. And expanding the next one, we get plus 10x minus 2. And tidying that all up, 3x and 10x makes 13x. And plus 12 minus 2 is plus 10, so 13x plus 10. Onto the one below, we get 3x plus 15 plus 10x and that'd be minus 12 at the end there. And then tidying it up, we get 13x again. And then 15 take away 12 is positive 3, so plus 3. So 13x plus 3. Top right, 3 times 2x is 6x, and 3 times 1 is 3, so plus 3. And then we've got this negative going on, so minus 2 times x is minus 2x, and minus 2 times minus 2 is positive 4. So be careful with that one. Collecting the x's together, 6x take away 2x is 4x, and 3 plus 4 is 7, so 4x plus 7. And then onto the last one here, 2 times 3x is 6x, 2 times 4 is 8, 
and then we've got the negative again, so negative three times two is negative six, and negative three times negative x is positive three x. And again, just tidying this up, six x and three x makes nine x, and eight take away six is two, so nine x plus two. And there's your four answers. Okay, so obviously in some of these scenarios here, you could have ended up with a negative at the end there. None of these actually did because our numbers there, well, if we have a look just at this first one, for example, okay, we had a positive 12 take away two and that resulted in positive 10. But it could be that you had positive two take away 10 that would have resulted in a negative at the end there. So you've just gotta be very, very careful. All of these were quite nice, okay, but you get the general idea of how to approach these questions. Do one, the first bracket to start with, the second bracket as well, just being careful if there is a negative in there and keeping it all really nice and tidy before you simplify it and collect those pieces together. So that's the end of the video, uh, quite a short one. Uh, so make sure you move on to some of these next videos here. We've got some double brackets and maybe if you're on the higher tier looking at some triple brackets, have a look in the description for those. But again, if you like this video, please like, please comment, please subscribe and I'll see you for the next one.